Hello, hi, and welcome back to the Wander Traveler. So after the Christmas vacation, we're going back to Bangalore. But uh, while going back, I do not want to take the normal road. I thought I'll take a small deviation and go through the road, which is Adrapalli, Balpare, Pollachi, and Bangalore. Now, why I took this road is because not many people have traveled through this road, and there are a lot of scenic places over here. So something that is going to amaze you in this video. So stay tuned and see all the complete video. We started our journey from Kotem and it almost took two hours to reach the Adrapali. Adrapali is located in the Trishur district in Kerala. If you like to visit this place, either you can use the airport that is Cochin International Airport which is 53 kilometers from here or you can use the Chalakudi railway station which is 30 kilometers or you can drive down. Adrapali is also famous for the riverbank resorts, the palm tree cultivation and the two famous water theme park, the Dream World and the Silver Storm. So our plan is to stay in a resort called Anchorage which is right next to the Chalakudi river and from there the next day we will visit Adrapalli Vaichal waterfall from there we will travel to Valpare and via Pollachi we will be going to Bangalore. This is an Anchorage hotel that we are going to stay today and it is right next to the Chalakudi river. Alright so let's go down. Mm, so Christmas time they have kept all the Christmas decorations. So let's go inside. Well, so that's a reception area. Okay. okay, so we got the rope. Good thing they kept everything inside. So this is a room. Pretty good, pretty decent room. And uh you have a view to the lake and this is a washroom pretty big and also you have a, have a view to the lake yeah so this is a, a swimming pool of this resort you also have a light pool which is over there so the manager told me that you can actually take a walk so this is a place and you can see some people are like walking and coming. So we will be crossing this river just to see what is on the other side of this river as well. Right, so that is our uh, resort and this is a lake and we are actually going, we're just crossing this particular river just to see how it is. And during the rainy season, the water will be around like 12 to 13 feet above where we are standing right now and right now it's very peaceful there are a lot of small small fishes you can fish and if you can see that there are so many fishes over there and uh, on the other side there are uh, palm uh, palm plantation and the localites told me that there will be elephants that will be coming uh, to drink water over there and it is not that safe to go beyond this line after six or seven o'clock In the evening, we ordered our dinner and had it with an amazing view of the sunset. So, morning, we are going for breakfast. Uh, today they said it's a buffet, so let's see what all the dishes are. from our resort we have now checked out and we are on our way to Adrapalli waterfalls so Adrapalli is actually 20 kilometers from the place where There is a resort also you can stay there and uh, enjoy the park 
or what you can do is you can directly go to the Adrapalli and Wild Child waterfall and enjoy the view over there. So we have another eight kilometers left to this place and what you see over there are the palm farms okay so this is where uh, the palm cultivation happens and they harvest all these palms to make palm oils so Adirapalli is where you can find all these farms so if you can see uh, these are all farms and on the other side is actually forest a lot of elephants cross this road so if you're coming here, be a little bit careful. Usually during the summer, these aero elephants will come. Otherwise, it's pretty okay. So, there are two water theme parks here. One is the Silver Storm, what you see over here. And there's one more before uh, reaching this place that's called Dream World. So if you like to stay here, uh, enjoy the water theme park, that also you can do. So we reached the Adrapalli ticket counter. So we will have to get down and take ticket. Thank you. This is the entrance to the Adrapalli waterfall. This is all made of bamboo which is very commonly found in this area. So we showed the ticket. Now we are going uphill. So there are places for refreshments and uh, you, you will get ice creams and uh, there are certain places for some small snack items and that is the Adirambali waterfall and something I want to show you right now can you see this there's a monkey grabbing a bottle of Lemka now he has grabbed it from some tourist he has opened it and he's drinking it very nicely now he's going to grab the next tourist I guess the one you see right now is the Chalakoti River and right next to that river you can see a small hut. The hut has gained a widespread recognition for the unique construction designed to withstand the strongest current of this river. Currently, this hut is used as a watchtower by the forest officials. After the first view of this beautiful thing, we are going much closer for the full view of the waterfall. So, to the viewpoint, it's like kind of a zigzag uh, trekking thing. So, if you can see, the roads are going like that, then like this, then zigzag, zigzag roads are there. Now, I don't know how we're going to climb this. Oh my god, it's a long way down. So, there are two ways. Okay, if you want to take the hard way, you can do that. That's uh, Tracy's lock. Or if you want to take the safe way, this is the way. Now I want to take the other way, but I don't want to be adventurous because I have to drive all the way back to Bangalore. <sighs> Tired already? No, not yet. Okay, let's keep going. And there it is, the Adirampali waterfall. That's the viewpoint. Uh, there's only for the forest people so that they can go here to the Warshall waterfall. This 
something which is much needed after the big trekking. No? So almost took one and a half hours to go up and down and make sure you wear shoes, no slippers, no sandals, nothing. Shoes only. And so, cheers. So we left Adripalli waterfall. The roads are a bit narrow as you can see. Uh, so we are trying to go a little bit faster because we spent a lot of time in that uh, virtual waterfall. Our next destination is Malakapara. To travel to Malakapara, you will have to travel inside the dense forest for 55 kilometers. Malakapara is also the border of Kerala. The roads to this place are very narrow and if you are very lucky, you will be able to see some wild animals. On the way, we were lucky to see a bunch of elephants who were gazing the bamboo which was planted by the Kerala forest. Finally, after one, one and a half, two hours of drive, we have reached the Malakapara check post. This we got it from the Kerala border. So we're going to show it uh, to the forest officers here. the slip and uh, we are exiting Kerala border right now so uh, six o'clock is the last time we can enter this place so if you're going back you will have to exit this place exit Varichal before six o'clock so that's the thing that they said Tamil Nadu border. Uh, I think this is a check post. So you can see, welcome to Tamil Nadu. It says Valpara is 25 kilometers, Polachi is 82. So we are going directly to Valpara. Sholayar Dam, but you can see there is no water here. It's only December and almost empty. Okay. So 
this, what you can see here is a Sholia Dam. Uh, last year, since the rain was very less, you can see how less the water is. So I was just talking to this guy over here. He was saying that uh, since there is no rain this year, it's pretty bad. But uh, all the way from Adrapali to Valpare, we were feeling so damn hungry. So we, what we had decided, we have one tea and a bread omelette. You might have seen the roads of Munar, uh, the gap road. This road to Valpara is somewhat similar to that only. See the tea estates on the side and on the other side it's the dam. Since it was already late, we didn't get much time to explore the entire Valpare, so we decided to head directly to Polachi. The road from Valpare to Polachi has 40, 40 hairpins. So if you see this map, you can see all the zigzag roads. famous uh, mountain goat you can see it's a very rare uh, by the time we reached Pollachi it was 6 o'clock so we decided to head directly to Bangalore out of all the trips that we have been on the Adrapalli Valpare road was truly something special as we traversed through the winding roads we discovered a world of breathtaking landscape and unforgettable moments. From capturing the perfect sunset, the waterfalls, the forest, the wild animals and the amazing tea estates. Well, we are not done yet. Valpara has so much more to offer and we can't wait to go back and uncover the hated wonders. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. And please do subscribe to my channel as well. And if you have any suggestions or any comments, please do post that in the comment box as well. But thank you so much. This is the Wander Travelers signing off.